Hello and welcome. I'm sure you recognize this very, very beautiful image as coming from Easter Island, which is world famous. And there are several unique things about this place. Among them, the giant statues called Mo'ai. And another thing is that not many people know uh, that there is, in fact, a tradition of writing or a form of writing uh, native to this area, to this island. And it's called Rongo Rongo, like this. And uh, traditionally, of course, I think only certain members of the upper classes or people from the priestly families could read it. And not every person uh, on Easter Island uh, had knowledge of, of how to interpret them. But in any case, the etymology, the way of reading uh, the, 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 the name Rongodongo is very interesting because this word is used throughout the Austronesian uh, speaking areas. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so the word rongo rongo, which is this writing system, uh, it's nowadays um, nobody knows how to read this anymore and the ability to interpret this has been lost. But there are a lot of artifacts, usually wooden objects with carvings, uh, very intricate designs that incorporate this system. So nobody knows whether it's a, it, it's a hieroglyphic system or if it's a mnemonic system. But in any case, the name is very, very interesting. It comes from rongo rongo, which means to recite or to chant. But the root word rongo means message, order, or notice. And believe it or not, if you speak a language from the Philippines or from Indonesia, from Malaysia, um, you would use this word almost every day. But let's see which word it is. So the word rongo and its cognates are common in Polynesian language where they mean listen or message or information, order, things to do with, li with hearing and interpreting sound. And um, this word is also very common across multiple Austronesian languages, from Madagascar to Polynesia. And let's take a look. If if you're from Indonesia, Malaysia, or the Philippines, which word is it? Or in Malay, or Indonesian, or Tagalog, or whatever language you speak that is Austronesian, uh, can you guess which word rongo is related to in your language? I'll give you a couple of seconds to think and before we move on to the next slide. So, the root word is to listen. So the proto austronesian word and what people used, to, what people think that, you know, the ancestors, the ancestral languages in, in Taiwan used was dengur, which means to listen. And if you come from, say, Malaysia or parts of Sumatra, you would probably say denga, denga or dengar in standard Indonesian. Uh, in Jakarta, you could say dengur, you know, that happens. So what happened is in Malay, uh, the r sound merged with the r. And depending on the dialect in some languages, some dialects of Malay, you have r, in others you have a r in some, you know, so. But anyway, dengar, 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 that means to listen or to hear. And that comes from the word, the, the same root as rongo. Uh, in other languages, in the Philippines, for example, uh, in Tagalog, the e sound shifted to e. So, and the r becomes a g. So, dengar became dingik, dingik became dingik, to listen. That's the root. Uh, if you go further south in, in languages like Bisaya and Cebuano and a lot of the dialects in the south, a lot of the languages in the south, in fact, the uh, R sound also shifted to a G, but the, the E became U or O. So you have in Cebuano something like Dungug or Dungug, from to listen, uh, meaning to listen, and that's also the same word. If you go further north in Ilocano, E became E, so you have Dengig. Again, it's the same word. Uh, in languages like, uh, in, in Tamoro is very interesting. In Guam, uh, the D sound became a, an H, huh? So you have hungok, hungok. Yeah, so all these all come from the same word. And now let's go on to Polynesia. So, if we look at dengar, what happened is, in Polynesian languages, the E became O, and all the final consonants were lost. So dengar became dongo and dongo, and then you have languages like, uh, Tongan way of ongo, which means, I think it means, uh, is it to listen or to, uh, let me know what it means, but I think it, it has to deal with uh, understanding or comprehending, you know, or listening or feeling something. Uh, the same in someone longo, right? On all these languages, it means basically to hear, to listen, to understand, to get information, news, things like that. Uh, Maori rongo, okay, and Hawaiian lono. And that's basically the, uh, the relative of your, the rongo rongo in the, the, the very first slide. Okay. Right. And now let's see. So how do you say listen or hear in your language? 
uh, please comment below. And uh, especially if you speak an Austronesian language, how do you say it? How do you pronounce your uh, reflex in your native language of the word denner? And let's compare how the sounds have changed over the past few thousand years. All right? So bye for now. Take care.